Media freedom has been a topic that has been discussed many times on No War Zone. We come back to it today, however, in the light of it being yet another month since political cartoonist and columnist Pragith Eknaligoda went missing. In a bid to keep the injustice of his disappearance fresh in people's minds, as well as to address larger issues such as media censorship, unlawful abductions and the prevailing culture of impunity, Pragit's family and friends held an exhibition of some of his boldest works. Take a look. <laughs> Cave art of the 21st century. The title of the exhibition comes from the artist himself. So does the design of the invitation and all of the sketches on display. It had been planned ahead of time and his presence is felt through his art, although he is not present at this opening event. The artist is Pragit Eknelikoda, who disappeared in January 2010. His whereabouts remain unknown today, the 18th of May. Family, friends and colleagues have formed the Pragit Eknaligoda Foundation to keep his unresolved disappearance in the public memory. This exhibition is organized by them. This collection of 53 line drawings are all political statements in themselves. The politics of education, of war, of gender, questions about democracy, about religion, about freedom. These are the subjects that Pragit Eknaligoda explored in his work. समाज <laughs> एक <laughs> Eknaligoda disappeared on the 24th of January 2010, two days before the presidential elections, when he is believed to have been abducted after leaving the offices of the Lanka E! News website in Colombo. His wife's efforts to find out what happened to him have not brought any results. She has since filed a fundamental rights case calling for a thorough investigation. But his disappearance remains a mystery. Furthermore, Government representatives and some newspaper columnists have questioned the veracity of the incidents. There have been contradictory statements that he will be released soon, but in fact, there continues to be no news about him. There is hope once again now, as the newly appointed media minister has declared that he will undertake the responsibility to look into the case of Pragit Eknaligoda. <laughs> Adjournment question, I am not the Sabah Kaltabana Vasta with the Nagana Prasnia career in Nagala. Own Katagrane, Desapal, Navata Pitava, Katlak. Ignaligo de Mat Melkar and Lukasa Darnake. The Mesam Mandu, Mamakim in Prakashakara, Ignaligo de Mat Mageva, Kimo Mambaragan, Ekrega, Karmu, the Patkirim Sambandosa, you team in a Karmogana, well, a balla Satya Prakashakim. Make a Desapal, a Pasuma, a full Kerbu Gam, made in a Vatinaka Babal Duero, Matuano, a Pamanak to me. 
ඒ පුද්ගලයට ලොකු අසාධාරණයක් කියලා මොකද මේ දේශපාලන කතිකාව වලට හරි The opening of the exhibition Cave Art of the 21st Century was well attended. Although the work all consists of basic line drawings in black and white, its message is strong and relevant, appealing to many who were present that day. You know, here we are this little child in in an umbilical, you know, in, in as in a mother's womb. Uh and on the the only thing that supports is a a feather which is a sign of the white dove of peace. Me pradarshane vedagat wenawa mokakda janamaadha nidahasa sambandhemuth maanawa nidahasa ehema naththam prajatantravaadi aithivasikam sambandhen yam prakashanak prabala prakashanak me thula adangu wenna nisa. Pradhana vashyemo minisuge jeevitha rakina minne. E wagema tamam ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදී වෙනුවෙන්ම විතර පෙනී සිටින පුද්ගලයන් ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදී වෙනුවෙන්ම ලියපු පුද්ගලයන් ලියපු ප්‍රමාණය අඩු වෙන්න පුළුවන් එක එකනාගේ විවිධ කතන්දර වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ නමුත් ඔහු ලියුවේ ප්‍රජාතන්ත්‍රවාදී වෙනුවෙන් a strong commitment to human rights is evident in the work of pragit eknalikoda this is perhaps one of the reasons why pragit is no longer with his family unable to attend his pre-planned exhibition whatever his background or political convictions it is only just that as a citizen of this country his disappearance must be investigated and accounted for the government should and we will do what we can as a member of the government government parliamentary group to not only safeguard but to generate a new sense of freedom in the minds of the journalists the exhibition cave art of the 21st century coincided with the launch of two publications of pragit's writings all contributing towards keeping alive the vision and memory of a writer and cartoonist who was not afraid to speak out in difficult times That's all we have time for today but if you have any comments please write in and share them with us thanks for watching no war zone i'll see you next week